I know Dick talked about it earlier when he goes back. In fact, I'm going to ask you, Dick, really quick, because you were at the 447th. Yeah, can you mention really quick how it was going back uh, and how the reception was from the British and all the locals? Because you just went back recently, right? Yes, in January. Well, they, they treated us royally, just gave us everything that we possibly could have asked for. And I want to take this time to congratulate you on such a fine film. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And it's, it's so close to my experience. I could have almost been in the same situation. And the, the filming, the, the gentleman up there that did such a swell job on it, <laughs> and, and the music especially, too. Thank you for it. I, I enjoyed it. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you very much. Thanks for your service. So, I know that the B-24 is known as the king of the heavies. Were there other, were there B-17s as part of the 93rd as well? Do you know? That's a good question. I like that. I'm going to explain it. So B-17s, that's what Dick was a part of. He was in the, Dick, were you in the third? He was in the third division, so there were two. Di there were three divisions: uh, first, second, and third. The first was primarily B-17 bombers. The second was B-24s, and the third was a little bit of a mix. So that's kind of how it lined up. Internally, the guys sort of had a back and forth between the B-17 uh, and B-24. Um, but you know, it's funny going through the museum here too, over in the red barn. I didn't realize, but the B-17 had been out, I think, 1935, when it came out. And that, that's, I think I may have read that somewhere else, but this sort of reminded me that, that that bomber was out already, being tested. Uh, I don't think they wanted to really gear up, because I think the US at that time didn't want to show like they were getting into the war at all. So they kind of put that down low. But once Pearl Harbor happened and started to pick up B-17s, we're out. Another fun fact, and I'll, I will let maybe somebody else ask a question, but most of the 17s you always saw in the newsreels in the beginning. That partly was because some of those bases were always around London, and the reporters didn't want to go that far. <laughs> so they just kind of went out from London, went to those bases. They had B-17s, so you saw a lot of them. <laughs>